morning everyone, welcome to another video here on the world of coasters. I am here at the moment in the Sequoia Lodge. Um, me and Louise are here on another stay at the Disneyland Resort in Paris. Uh, Louise is just getting herself ready. We're going to be going down for breakfast in a minute. I'm going to give you full coverage of the day. I know I did a vlog in, in uh, Disneyland last month, but I'm going to do another one this month because this, this time we're staying on site. This is the Sequoia Lodge. Um, we're uh, going to be going down for our breakfast in the breakfast hall, so if I get you some shots of that. And then we're going to be taking the walk down to the Disneyland Park. I think we're going to be going into the studio park first for early ride time. Uh, just to bear in mind, it's currently about quarter to eight, so uh, early magic hour starts at half eight uh, till 9.30 and then the park opens to the general public at ten, so, uh, but they let, they let the general in at half nine to start queuing for rides. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you down in the breakfast hall probably, or down in the park, and uh, I'm really excited for today because I do love the Disney parks and so does Louise, so we'll see you down there. So this is where we're staying, we're in one of the lodges of the Sequoia Lodge, the furthest away lodge, which has its benefits and disadvantages because it's really far away, but it's also very, very quiet. And we've got... Apart from the like, family opposite us, their child wakes up. At 8.15, so it's great because we're awake, but yeah, sure, the so. scream. <laughs> so we got a nice walk to breakfast, it's lovely blue skies. If there's one thing I have learnt about Disney now, is every time we come here, the weather is perfect. Yeah. We're forecast 26 degrees today. It has been blistering hot heat since we got here. This is the fourth day of our stay. Um, uh, Louise's friends are having a slow day today, so we don't know whether they're going to actually be appearing in the vlog or not. So yeah, I say we've got a long walk down to the thing. There's the main building just up ahead, all the way over there. And I'll show you the breakfast hall. Right, so um, Disneyland Paris aren't using paper car uh, tickets now. What comes on the Magic Pass, which is like a step towards the, um, the Magic Bands, I reckon. So on here, you have your name. And I've just realised I've been zooming in. Your name, and this is where all your reservations are. So if you've got a meal plan that's on here, as you can see at the top, we got breakfast, so they got a picture of a croissant. And we this basically prepays all our meals. We just have credits on it, like a meal plan. And uh, we go ask for two, they charge, and then we just put this card in it and it cancels it out. Uh, this is also our room key and would be our park ticket had we had me. Of course, me and Louise are annual pass holders, so we don't need these. But yeah, this is probably the first step towards magic bands. Breakfast is served in the main halls. There's actually one here, which is Beaver Creek and Hunter's Grill. I think we're gonna go Hunter's Grill today. Yes. They're both the same, but uh, it's just nice to mix it up. So many doors opening. So either in here or in here. Breakfast is 22 euros a day. So yeah, it's expensive, but we got a deal because of course we booked online. the room to get the popcorn bucket and fix Louise's brace which she broke. You broke it. So we had to pull a wire out. Um, we are going to the studios park to start with so we're just walking past the New York which is being renovated at the moment into the Art of Marvel New York opens next summer. Um, we'll have to but yeah definitely. For my 23rd birthday. Uh, you might have noticed we've got a uh, Limited edition popcorn bucket for the Lion King festival that's on. Let's we'll see the show for that today. Do you want to see my nails? I know you're all boys watching oh, this. That. Okay, they're not that great. I'm not 100% glad with them, but they're meant to be up, okay. up themed. And these are clouds. So the walk from here, our hotel is over there, and we walk along the lake. The Newport is over there, <laughs> and and um, you head towards the village. It's the one thing that I really do like about Disneyland Paris 
everything's within walking distance. From the hotel, it's like a 10 minute walk, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They do have shuttle buses, but they're it a little depends. bit pointless. Yeah, it really depends. Because you, you can end up waiting 15 minutes for a shuttle bus and be walked back. Mm -hmm. Like we did yesterday, we were like, oh, we'll get the shuttle bus because we couldn't be bothered to walk. And the shuttle bus took 10 minutes to get there, then it sat there for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> like, it's, like, fair enough if you Newport doing or the thing is that no, the shuttle. But if you're like, oh, I just want to go back to the room, fair enough. No, we had a dinner we reservation. Had a very strict turnaround. So we had like half an hour in the room to get ready and then back out again. So uh, we're just going into the village, which we've got to go through security. Uh, Distant Press has very good security. So I'm going to have to put you away for a minute while we go through it. So through security. Oh, there's a pigeon. We're through security now, and uh, this is the Disney Village. Nowhere near as big as Disney Springs, obviously, in Florida. But it's still quite a nice little place, isn't it? We've got a uh, Cafe Mickey's, which is the uh, character dining, a Rainforest Cafe, a few other like restaurants, Steakhouse, King Ludwig's Castle, a Let's Diner, and a Planet Hollywood at the end. Also, Buffalo Bills. We want to go on the balloon. Oh yeah, the balloon over there goes up and you can see the whole it resort. Too, it was too windy. Wasn't yeah, it was tethered yesterday evening because it was windy. So along here obviously we've got all the shops and such. This is the reason I really like Disneyland Paris is it's like all walking distance. That's what I like, you know. Mm -hmm. Florida is 10 times better but the fact is you can't walk around that one without having to catch a bus. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, we were very unlucky with the buses. So, uh, yeah, we'll be in the park in a few minutes. We're going to head to the Disney Studios first, probably do Rock and Roller Coaster, and uh, get a fast track for Ratatouille as soon as the park opens. So, we're coming over to the exit of the village. Obviously, come around to Planet Hollywood up here. We've got the Wild West Show, which we're booked in to go there on our final night. So, uh, I'll probably uh, do a bit of filming in there, I imagine on a separate video. There's a 15, uh, 15 screen cinema here, uh, which apparently does English in the morning and French in the evening, or there are, you, can, you can ask whether they're in English or French. Then of course the World of Disney shopping uh, place here. Security all through here, and we're just going around to the parks. So one other thing I forgot to mention is it's a Saturday today, so I'm, I imagine it's going to be a lot busier than normal. Yeah. We normally come during the week on off-peak times, but uh, this was booked during July, so lovely weather, but it's going to be much busier. Yes. So we're going to take advantage of the uh, extra magic hours in the Walt Disney Studios. Okay. There's the Studios Park, which is where we're going. Of course, the gates are shut at the moment, so you've got to go towards the Disneyland Park and hook a left. So when you come in during an early, ri oh, uh, early ride time, extra magic hour, that's where you go if you're a regular ticket holder or not a hotel guest. And if you come over here, they've actually got signage now. And uh, annual passes allow entry, so let's go through. So here we are, Walt Disney Studios. Voted the worst Disney park in the world, but in the next few years this is expanding massively. Um, so I'll be excited when they open the new lands here. Marvel Land is the first phase, there's a lot more construction going on now. Of course we were here last month, so give you an update on that. And uh, what are we going on first, Rock and Roll Coaster? So I think we'll be going past the construction of Marvel Land to begin with. Of course that shuts in September. So here we are in the courtyard. This is all going to be completely changed out here. I don't know whether they're going to get rid of the studio theme. Uh, I think they're going to keep it, but this doorway is going to be opened up into one big entrance rather than multiple little doors. I think also they're going to be opening up the two sides of the studio uh, to just let traffic flow through because of course this park is going to get a lot busier very soon. Of course they pumped 2 billion euros into this place and the majority of which is actually being spent at the um, Studios Park because it is in dire need of when did it some go, TLC. When did it get rated the worst Disney I don't know but it's just like on one of those vlogs online that's like, I think it's on a Reddit somewhere and I can agree with them. It is. Well, we haven't been to it. We haven't been here, but just looking at the ride lineups, like this one's come a long way. Like when it opened, it barely had any rides. But it's still like this is what it should have been like when it first opened. Um, you know, you got Tower of Terror now, Ratatouille, Toy Story Playland. It's just. Are we gonna do that one first? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can go over to Ratatouille. I'll just set the ride time, and then uh, we'll make a decision what we're gonna do. So I really do like the entrance to this part when you come out of Studio One, the Tower of Terror and the Walt and Mickey statue here. 
Art of Animation is still under renovation. They've got rid of that. No, I was just about to say they got rid of the hat, but it's actually behind that tree. Sorry, I feel like, yeah. a, feel like I'm a bit of a dip now. But yeah, they're repainting it, redoing that completely. I don't know whether they're going to get rid of the studio tour or what. I don't know. As for Ratatouille, uh, it's broken down at the moment. I've just checked the app, so save us walking over there. We're going to head over to the Rock and Roll Fest. It's got a five minute queue at the moment. And uh, then we we'll are head back that way, maybe via the Tower of Terror. I don't know, depends whether it's back up and running. But this is the sort of thing you have to deal with during early ride time. It's abandoned, I love but, it. But, but they've got a food festival on. Yes, which we didn't know. Yeah, we I'll have to show you that. No, before we came. So have to show you that. Last month. Yeah, um, a bit like the World Showcase one at Epcot, but on a much smaller scale. Shows you food from they've all over like, Europe. Yeah, they've got like a few other countries. Uh, it's European, isn't it? Yeah. Here we've got the main stage, which was built up more for Electra Land. Um, but they've got it built up at the moment for the uh, Lion King Festival. This is lovely. So since last month, these walls have been painted now. They're like a, a, a silvery colour and they've put Recruitment Begins for the Marvel Land. This is where the new Spider-Man ride is going to be going. The, uh, it's going to be a bit like Toy Story Mania but with Spider-Man and web slinging. They've also erected a crane now, or began erecting a crane. Uh, to go vertical on construction with that. Of course, the show building for Armageddon is completely gone now. I would show you over the wall, but it is 10 foot tall, so I couldn't really, even if I wanted to. Um, you can still get to the stunt show, but you have to go around the back of Tower of Terror. And it's a really long traipse around there, but that is still running at the moment. And I do believe they're still doing the stunt show after um, this gets turned into a Marvel land, so it's probably going to change to a Marvel stunt show. Oh, this is what you meant. So, this yeah, oh yeah, Louise was asking about a restaurant. So, yeah, this is all going to be Marvel through here. Rock and Roller Coaster, of course, shuts in September um, to be transformed into the Iron Man Roller Coaster. So, um, yeah, come September, this whole area, back lot, will be closed off, which will really shrink this park down. Uh, and then, of course, I, I don't know when they plan on finishing this. I think it's like summer next year, maybe. I don't know because, of course, well, the hotel is coming summer 2020, so don't know. You might be matching up. Like but the this roller coaster is obviously staying, but it's being totally rethemed. The concept art looks amazing. It's going to be like a big high-tech building. Uh, you know, this has always been a bit of a letdown. This facade for a Disney ride, yeah. uh, but still, it's a good roller coaster. So I do enjoy it. Uh, five minute queue on early ride time. Of course, like I say, the stunt show you access around the other way now, you can't even get to it from this way. So we'll uh, see you when we get off the rock and roller coaster. et de ne pas utiliser de flash ni de caméscope. Comme vous le constatez, le groupe est en train de procéder au tout dernier réglage technique concernant la musique de la nouvelle attraction que vous allez être parmi les premiers à découvrir. So it's lovely and quiet through here guys. Yep. I do more filming in that ride, but unfortunately it's got a lot of copyright music in it, so I can't really do that. Mm -hmm. We just got ourselves a um, Rock and Roll Caster t-shirt, because um, of course this one's closing at the uh, in, on September the 1st, so when this one closes, you won't be able to get them t-shirts anymore. Probably come back for the closing, there'll be like a massive blowout sale to get rid of them. Like yeah. Two euros! Yeah, but we might not come before the first. Well, the t-shirts are normally 19.99, obviously with the discount. They come up at about 15 euros, which isn't too bad for a piece of memorabilia. Of course, it says Rock and Roll Coaster on the front and um, has Walt Disney Studios Park. So it's this, to this park rather than, say, like Florida or yeah. all that. Uh, but yeah, the, brilliant ride on that. It was quite smooth this morning. I actually had such a good ride, and I always complain about that one. Yeah, it was. But a, I had such a good ride. We were right in the middle. Yeah, I've just noticed they've got some uh, all these Stark Enterprises Expo, Home of Avengers, Paris, and uh, here's the one at Hong Kong. They've just opened the Avengers ride. Doesn't look like they're. Um, doesn't look like they're going to be opening that one here, but that's like a bit like Star Tours for um, for uh, Hong Kong. Obviously, this will be uh, Tony Stark's headquarters or the Avengers headquarters where the roller coaster is. Uh, we're going over to Tower of Terror now, so uh, 
So yeah, a lot of stuff is going to be happening in this side of the park over the next couple of years. Of course, that's only the first phase. Once that phase is done, I think they've already begun work on the main no, no, lake I didn't area. I that the Hollywood Hotel has a ripped chunk out of it. Well, yeah, that's why you can see the elevator shafts from the front. I think she didn't notice. She's never noticed that. She just, oh my god! That's why there's that pipe hanging off and all that because it's like oh. that part of the hotel's missing. That's why you can see the lift. Is it because it was struck by lightning? Yeah, I mean, that's oh why the lifts were that went into the twilight zone. I know that's what the lifts were, but I never really thought about it. In my there we go. You learn something new every day. So anyway, we're going around to Ratatouille now. It's open up now. It's got 15 minute queue. Uh, Tara Terra is advertising a 30 minute queue, but the thing with Tara Terra is they always run just the one pre-show room uh, during early magic time so the queue for that can actually be quite long once it hits 10 o'clock they open up the second one and of course then you have the full loading uh, so we'll probably go on that one after um, after or oh, we might go on Crush's Cash I don't know I'm what? in the mood for some scary rides today yeah uh, I would love to do the parachute drop one before the queue gets too long that's that not scary until 10. Uh, we will be hopping over to the other park today we've got some rides to do there um, but yeah, just showing you around. Like I say, the amount of work they're putting into this park at the moment really shows more of the rides are open again now. Uh, like I say, it looks like they're doing some work out the back for the giant lake that will be built where Frozen and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be. I really cannot wait to see this park's future. Let's fast forward it to about 2023, 2024 and this, this, uh, these first three phases will be done. Like I was saying, the first phase is Marvel Land, which I don't know if it's called Marvel Land, obviously it's Marvel in a land, so Marvel Land. Uh, that's, that's planned to be finished by 2021 at the latest, or 2020, I think it's 2021 it's meant to be finished. There's a nice feeling about coming yeah. to the studio, so I don't oh, know what it is. It's a bit different. This will obviously be gone, you'll be able to walk all the way down there to the new show lake. The studio tram tour is staying, but it's being re-themed to a Cars-themed um, ride. Going off there. They've got these bubble things here, which, my God. Yeah, I'm quite happy the studio tram tour is being converted into this Cars tram tour. Catastrophe Canyon will be staying. Uh, however, it's going to have two new stops in it, and it's going to be a much shorter route. So that'd be quite good, won't it? Yes. Uh, Art of Animation is under renovation at the moment. Uh, the second phase is going to be, um, oh, what's it going to be? Frozen, that's it. Second phase is going to be Frozen. Uh, don't know anything about Frozen yet. It's going to be a large show building, much bigger than uh, Frozen Ever After at Disney World. So, whether it's going to be a Frozen roller coaster or a Frozen Dark Ride, or maybe both, we don't know. And then, of course, the final phase will be Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which, as far as we're aware at the moment, will only feature one of the two attractions. Uh, which will most likely be Rise of the Resistance because, of course, uh, Smuggler's Run is a multilingual is a ride that's just in, in English and you need a lot of instruction because you want to cooperate with six or uh, five other people. So obviously, in the European parks, you've got much more languages being spoken. Yeah. So a ride that requires you to interact with each other probably isn't the best idea. Again, at the moment, we got uh, the uh, Louis. Uh, I can't remember what this one's called. The, the spinning cars, the, the cars ride is down at the moment. So, one other thing with the Studio Tram Tour being converted to this cars area, it's next to an expansion plot. It'd be lovely if they made that into um, the, car, like the Cars Land you got in Disney's California Adventure. Here's a uh, thing from the uh, like food festival they got in at the moment. Yeah, French is all down here, obviously. Yeah, it's like, it's like European food, and uh, yeah, all the French stores are down here towards Ratatouille. Well, got the ones I can remember Greece, Belgium, Dutch. Uh, I think they had Germany. Yeah, Germany. Yeah. Some of them are just like alcoholic drinks, like beers and that. Like these, these ones Others here. Are actual food, like lunch spots. Yeah, they've got like four or five along here. Very reminiscent of the World Showcase ones they have at the food festival. I'd say these are more sophisticated yeah, than the ones they had in America. A bit fancier. Um, but this is all like different regions of France. Look, of course. This is just wine, for example. Yep. And these are some of, some of these are food. So. Yeah. So over here we've got the Ratatouille ride, which is called Spin Built at Walt Disney World at the moment. I'm not going to lie, I'm really excited to go back to Walt Disney World when this opens there and experience it in I full just, English. I just love Disney so much. Yeah, D Disneyland Paris holds a very, a very close place in our heart. There's a 20 minute queue for this, we're going to jump in the queue. We'll get some fast passes for it. Yeah, it's Might as well take our advantage of the fast pass now. So we decided to get a fast pass, Louise is going to get hers. 
So here you just do the old way of scanning. Luke, can you do mine, please? The fast pass time for this ride at the moment is 10.15 to 10.45. The thing is, they're advertising a 20 minute queue, but it's uh, it's already out in the extension line, so what we'll do is... Parachute. We might as well go do one of the other rides, it's 20 to 10, so do another ride, come back to this one. When can we scan our fast pass to Sean again? 10.15. So at 10.15 we can get another fast track, we'll probably get a or something like that. Might even go to the other part of the Big Thunder Mountain or something like that. How about that one? We also went to Shea Remy's uh, Bistro Shea Remy the other night. Highly recommended. It was a really nice place to eat. We've been a bit more explorative with uh, restaurants in the park this time we've been here. Yeah. Uh, we've done uh, Captain Jack's yesterday, which we've been to, and I absolutely love that one. Uh, Shea Remy was a new one for us and highly rated. We will be going back there again. 100%. 100%. Oh, yes, it's gorgeous. So we're just entering Toy Story Playland now. So the. Uh, the queues for all the rides are starting to build up. I think uh, from half nine they let general general public in, and then obviously the rides open at ten for them. So here's RC Racer, one of the credits you can get here or at Hong Kong Disneyland. I do love Toy Story Playland. It's a bit small, but they will be expanding this uh, when they expand the park. Slinky Dog Dash is now back up. Just trying to get away from that child that's been so noisy. He's like just banging on his drum doing the Lion King. Let's do this one. We're going to come back to Stinky Dog Dash because it has a lot of queue. This one's got a half an hour queue, but it won't be half an hour. So let's do the parachute ride. This is one of those rides which um, normally has a really long queue, there's no fast track for, but it's just alright this one. It's like a junior version of Tower of Terror, isn't it? Same level of detail as you get at like uh, Toy Story Playland in Florida. Obviously, Florida is on a much larger scale though. Do like this ride. Half hour queue. Probably not far off wrong. Put a photo up there. Back, probably not far off when we go in there and then there's a couple of zigzags into the actual ride. Probably not quite half an hour. Before sitting down, secure all large items in the storage crates. Safely secure all smaller items on your person. Hats sunglasses, and cameras. Shoes must be kept on at all times. Each parachute holds six recruits, three on each side. Please fill all available seats. All children must be seated next to an adult. Come off of the uh, toy, to toy soldiers parachute drop. You like that one, don't you? I remember there was. A, I remember a time when Louise wouldn't even go on that one. It's such a long way. We're going to go over to Ratatouille. Use our fast pass now. I've just run over and got a Terra Terra fast pass. Uh, that's from 12:10. So we got a couple of hours before that. Yeah, they went really quickly. Uh, we're going to do Ratatouille, and then we're going to jump on Slinky Dog Dash over here. And uh, we might park, hop over to the other park and come back for Tower of Terror, I don't know yet. Is there anything else you want to do in this park? See what Crush's house is like? Yeah. So here we go, uh, they've got
got a meet and greet with Minnie Mouse here in a special like outfit for this food event. She's currently away though. It's tricky because it's a small area. Yeah, like I say, this uh, we didn't know this event was on, but it's nice to see that it's on. So next ride of the day, Ratatouille. Uh, advertising a 40 minute queue now, which uh, probably isn't far off wrong. We've queued out there before and it's probably around there, but we've got fast track, so uh, we're gonna go use it. So fast track queue, let's see how long we gotta wait in this. Normally it's only about five. Five minute queue over ten minutes tops. The only downside is you miss out on the uh, queue section here. Yeah, so we're over there. That's your 3D glasses. Right guys, I'm not going to bother filming on this one because I film every single time I come on this one. Enjoy it. So I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, I think we've got a pop film. It'll be uploaded soon. Uh, so we'll see you when we get off the ride. We have just come off of Ratatouille, always a good ride. I think we're going to have a look at doing some other attractions in this park until our fast pass comes up for um, Terra Louise needs her glasses. So I'll them and then we'll go over and find some more rides to go on. Something a bit different, we've got some uh, live music. We're going over to Mickey and the Magician, there's a show in five minutes, so if we can make it in there, we will. Uh, and then uh, hopefully when we come out of there, we can do like flying carpets over Agrabah, and then it'll be time for our Tara Tara. So, turns out that I can't tell the time and it's actually t um, 10, to, 10 to 12 at the show and it's not 10 to 10, so, my bad. Uh, look, we're going to do flying carpets over Agrabah. Oh, she's Cinderitos. Are we doing flying carpets over Agrabah? I want a poo bear. You want a poo bear? You're not having a poo. So the queue for flying carpets over Agrabah was not 15 minutes long, so we've decided not to do that one for now. Uh, we're just walking past this, uh, like, photo shoot with the Monsters Inc people which are never there so it's normally Sully but he's not here at the moment. That basically means we got like an hour until our fast track for Tara Terra. We might end up just park hop into the other park once Louise has her balloon. Nope. She, she wants a poo. Fair. We gotta get her a poo. Fair. I can do that anytime. It's pretty cool you can make yourself your uh, little gauntlet thing here that people are making. Little Hulk one. Choose it and totally customise it. Do you actually pay for it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. You have a pay. I matching So Louise is happy now, she's got her Winnie the Pooh balloon. Just a word of advice, if you are going to get one of these balloons, they're 10 euros. However, you can get a new pass discount if you go to a shop. If you buy them from one of the stalls, you won't get a discount on them, you have to pay the full 10 euros. But uh, go to a shop and uh, you can get your discount and they cost 8 euros, which I isn't quite as old as what I'm going to get. These breakfast bowls. How much are they? They're 9 dollars each. They're quite nice. And they've got the tail there. Very nice. Right, so now we've had a short break from the uh, rides. Who is happy she's got a poo? Uh, she's, she's happy now. Uh, I have found a good bit of information out. Apparently, if your balloon pops, uh, just hold the receipt or it comes off the end of the string, just take your receipt to City Hall and then get another one. So, Look! You got your Mickey weight. So, we're going to go to Slinky Dog Dash now. And then uh, hopefully it'll be time for Tara Terra. If not, we might just get in the queue. It's only got half hour here. So heading back over into Toy Story Playland now. Buzz Lightyear is the entrance piece to this one, not Woody. I do like this. Uh, 
It is getting to the point though where it's starting to need a little bit of uh, TLC, like the paint starting to fade on some of the poles. Uh, I imagine soon this will probably be going down for maintenance. I can't remember exact date, but I think around 2010, probably, maybe 10 or 12. Literally gonna have poo coming into every shot now. Literally got poo blown into the camera. <laughs> So here's our next ride, Slinky Dog Zigzag Spin, the Slinky Dog Dash. I do like that all the uh, rides in here are all like Hasbro, Mattel, Slinky, you know, they actually have the branding, which is pretty cool. Slinky dog now. Louise has got and poo. Pen. And poo. Poo is our child. We're gonna have to take poo back to the hotel soon. No, poo's going in the concierge. You can't take poo on the roller coasters. No, in the concierge. You're paying for concierge. No, we get it free. Only on my, my own Yeah, pass. that's what I'm saying. Okay. Louise had poo taken away. Poo is gone. Oh, poo's been taken away. Bye, Pooh. Oh, Pooh's going in there. Pooh's going to be the operator. <laughs> but Pooh's operating the ride. <laughs> she better hold on to Pooh Bear. I wish she would pay for that one. Oliver! Woo! She's holding on to it. Yeah. It is not as good as Slinky Zigzag Slim. I've come over now. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this area, it's really well themed. So they'll be expanding it with a new attraction when they expand the park, which looks like it's going to be the Swirling Alien Sources, but it's not really confirmed. Yeah, most likely down that way. We have our fast track for Tower of Terror coming up in about half an hour. Uh, maybe a bit less. So, I don't know what we're going to do now. Chill. Chill. Chill out. Get a drink. So here's some more of these food stalls. So we've got a vegan one, there's Greek over there. I think I'll probably get something from the Greek one. They've got Italian and Spanish. Oh yeah. So let's have a look at them and I'll actually. It's like a little like food festival which looks quite nice. It does smell really nice. In the shadow of Tara Terra. Uh, like I said, we've got fast travel this in half an hour. So we've stopped for an early lunch. Louise has got a gyro wrap in pitta. Very good. Very nice. It just it tastes like a kebab really. Yeah, it's Greek, so it's very similar. Uh, as I said, we've got a fast track for um, Tara Terra in about 20 minutes, so we're just going to relax, chill out, and we're drink in a minute. And uh, we're on Tara Terra, we'll see what we do with Pooh as well, because we need to get rid of him because we can't take him on any of the roller coasters. Gonna be able to film on this one, guys, as normal. So unfortunately, you're gonna lose us here and see us after the ride. Who me? Not me. Oh, Hop. A man. Who's gonna go pop? There's so many sharp things in here. Just come off of Terra Terra, and I wanted to show you this. They've now got like a bit of Terra Terra merchandise. A statue in a box, 129 euros. It's really cool. I like this. So we say goodbye to the Walt Disney Studios now as we're going to park hop to the other park now. So the one thing that we really like about Disneyland Paris, well it's more than one thing, but one thing we do like about it is... Uh, hidden monkey. That's already hidden, but yeah. But, no, it's pretty uh, when walking between the parks, it's literally just a short skip, literally not even a five minute walk. So I'm going to show you now. Go through the exit of here. Over there, and you can kind of see the edge of the Disneyland Hotel. And uh, it's like what, a two minute walk over there, though? Five. Yeah. Nah, five if you're really, really slow in a wheelchair. So, say goodbye to the Walt Disney Studios for now, and off to the main park. Right, so being annual pass holders, I probably say this all the time, you don't have to use the uh, main entrance, which is just through there. 
Uh, if you got a Magic Plus or a Infinity, which uh, Louise has a Magic Plus and I have an Infinity, that's the gold and the black one, uh, you can go to the side and use the VIP entrance. Normally you don't have to use this entrance because it's actually they've got so many yeah. open. To be honest, yeah, to, to be honest, I'd be amazed if there's a queue for it at the moment. Like when we came last month and it was like a bank holiday. Yeah. It was definitely worth it then. Um, but yeah, you come to this uh, to the left hand side, entrance 14, because they have all these marked entrances which are pretty pointless now to be honest, but I suppose they may have served the, the purpose once. Yeah, you can't actually get through there. Um, you come through here and on the right of the ticket booth is a Magic, Pla uh, Magic Pass and Infinity Pass entrance, which I'll just show you. So there we go, just over there, behind that sign, just in there. And uh, it's the one on the far right, it's always open to Infinity Pass and Magic Pass. We're now in the happiest place in Europe, Disneyland Park. And we're going to get some popcorn. Louise is going to get some popcorn in our special popcorn bucket. It's annoying because uh, refills of popcorn cost six euros forty nine, and after we've been to the states and it's like two dollars a refill, it's it's a right rip off. So uh, we get very few refills here, and there's no annual pass discount on these stalls. I'm gonna get sweet. <laughs> so if you want a carriage popcorn bucket, it's twenty four ninety nine. A standard bucket, which is the one just over there, is ten ninety nine. And uh, the limited edition Lion King one is $12.99. Refills are $6.49 each. Yeah. And uh, they don't accept bills over 50 euro notes, which is quite handy to them. So here we are in Main Street. We're only here for a little while because then we're going to go back to the hotel. I just love Main Street. Disneyland Paris has a very, like, it's, it's the same as the one in um, Florida, but it's just there's something nice about it. It's, uh, roads are a lot wider, and um, the music's much louder, isn't it? I love it here. It's very windy, the wind's got up all of a sudden. So, here we are in the sweet shop of Main Street USA. It's like a traditional 19th century sweet shop. We've got Fudge down here. Might get one in there. to see the Main Street transport out and about. Shame the uh, horse drawn carriage is out today. We're just uh, eating some popcorn and I just had a ginormous cookie uh, before we carry on. I think we're going into Fantasyland in a minute. So we're heading into Fantasyland to go on Snow White and Pinocchio, one or the other. Apparently Snow White has a five minute queue, which I very much doubt. Uh, Pinocchio has a 25 minute queue, which is probably about right. We're just going to go through the castle. Um, what a beautiful castle that is! So through the castle, we have to go through the walk for Sleeping Beauty later. Yeah, probably on the way back to the hotel. So down here is Fantasyland. We're going to have a look how long the queue is for Snow White. Definitely one of the more busy lands, Fantasyland. Uh, especially with Dumbo's being down at the moment for maintenance, should be opening in a couple of months. Pinocchio's just broken down. So uh, we're not going to be doing Pinocchio. Small world. Small world it is then. It's a small world as it's using the extension line. They haven't really been updating the queue times uh, when we're getting to them. So a pretty crazy long queue. We're going to go back to the room now and chill out. And uh, we'll pick up when we get back. So yeah, it's really busied up now. So as I've just said, we're going back to the hotel. We're going to see about going for a swim. Uh, our swimming pool is shut for maintenance. Um, so we're probably going to see whether we can go in the Newport, but I think that's the hotel we're meant to go for for swim, swimming. Um, my Infinity Pass allows me to go into the Disneyland Hotel, but it's fully booked. Um, and I'm allowed to bring one person, but it's fully booked today and during the rest of our stay. So we're going to go back to the hotel through the village and put Poo in the room because he's really annoying. Who is annoying? such a shame that the railway is shut. I love the Disneyland Express, but it's closed for extensive maintenance. So it was shut last month when we came, it's shut this month, which is a shame because I love it. Back at the hotel now. I'm just going to nip to the concierge and ask about the pool, because like I say, ours is shut. 
Um, it's dead around here, so hopefully that means the pool is pretty dead. It's so hot, isn't it? Like, yeah. it's, cool. it's not bad overbearingly hot. Nice yes. the shot. Right. So we're back in the room now and uh, we're going to get ready to go for a swim. I'm going to leave you here because I can't really take the camera to the pool just to film because I don't know whether I'm going to be able to put it in a locker or anything like that. So we'll see you in about an hour or two when we're done in the pool. Um, we found out we can go to the new pool, but we've got to go to our concierge and book it because of course it's you know one pool for two hotels. So we'll see you in a bit. Right, so uh, we're back. It's a few hours later now. In fact, it is now quarter to six and uh, we're back at the room. As you see, I've had a wardrobe change. We had a nice swim. It's lovely, lovely. lovely hour or so at the pool. Um, just lounging outside. The weather was lovely. And then we came back here. We just had a shower, got ready, and we're going to go down for dinner now. And then we're going to go back into the park a bit later on and do some more rides. Probably, well, it will be the main park, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, the park is open till late, so we'll see what queues are like, but we haven't decided. We're going to the Rainforest Cafe, so I'll show you that. We're going to walk down to the Vidyard. Um, yeah, so join us as we go down that away. Bye. Bye bye. So it's around six o'clock, but it's still lovely blue sky. The sun's still high. That's right. Still a good 23, 24 degrees, I'd say. I'm just, I'm pursuing wearing this jacket because I've brought it with me this time, like. I must um, see the, what they're doing in the um, New York Hotel. It's going to look like the Avengers HQ. Camp, well, I reckon they'd put like one of the like Avengers helicopter things on top of it, but I don't know. We'll see. Me and Louise have already said we'd like to come stay here next year when it reopens. Get some cheap rates when it first opens. But there's our, there's our true favourite hotel over there. First time we came here as a couple, we went to that hotel and it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're coming into the village now. Like I said, we just probably beat the crowds for the parade. The parade started 20 minutes ago, so probably finishing at the far end of the park now. So we beat all them um, because there's always a rush of people coming out of the yeah. park to get dinner after the parade. Um, I'm going to be going through security in a second, so we have to put you guys away. And uh, we'll see you in the Rainforest Cafe. So here's dinner tonight. Rainforest Cafe. It's very windy around here. Let's get inside because the, the wind muff is going crazy according to the screen. We love the Rainforest Cafe. Alright. Yep, we've just beat the crowd so if we can we get a table right at the back. So we've asked for the table by the fish tank and this is where we're sitting. This is a gorgeous restaurant this one. Got a nice fish tank right next to where we're eating. And it's dead at the end. And it's all, um, all jungle themed all the way through. So we've ordered a flamboyant dessert. It actually looks quite good. It normally doesn't look that normally good. Normally they go crazy with the cream, but it's kind of on par. So we've just come out from dinner. They've set up a little hard rock shop here. This is uh, just a cargo container. This, this must have been put here quite recently. It wasn't here this morning. We've just come out from dinner, of course. It's about 7, 7.20 now. Uh, we're going to be heading into the park. It's still beautiful out, still over 20 degrees. Uh, we're going to be meeting up with our friends and uh, going into the main... Him. Yeah, we might see them into the main park. Such a nice atmosphere this time of evening in the vi village. And it's like not hot, it's like a nice temperature. Yeah, so it's comfortable. Like I'm wearing shorts and a shirt. And it's uh, quite pleasant. So this is where we're going to be eating tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Yeah. The cinema here and then World of Disney, which we're going to go into until we meet up with uh, Louise's friend. Hello. So here we are in the World of Disney. Uh, this place is open till 1am. we got a lot of uh, Lion King Festival merch at the moment. So like the snow globes. Yeah, we're going to see it tomorrow probably. Go have a look. We're right on the water. I love this shop. It's huge and sells almost everything you can get. I'd probably say one of the benefits of coming here a lot and having an annual pass is A, you get the discount, and B, you don't feel the need to buy a lot of stuff. I always feel probably, the Probably the most things we buy are pins. Me and Louise are suckers for pins. I've got three, just this trip. I've I do, got I do like this one. I've always liked this one. It's not too badly priced, actually. Uh, it is a yellow. What's a yellow, Lou? Yellow is 9 dollars 
See, I might get this one. Because I do always come back to this one. <laughs> like, I like, don't, don't I? Yeah, he does go on a hat a lot. So we've uh, we've met up with uh, Adam and uh, Lucy, which is Louise's friend and her boyfriend. Hi, Adam. Um, we're going into the main park now, and uh, I don't know what we're going to do. They've got a fast track for 8:45 for Peter Pan's flight. Um, me and Louise will probably just wing something at that point. Uh, but I don't know what we're going to do. What are we doing, Lou? What ride? Uh, Fantasyland. Fantasyland. That's not a ride. It's an area. Okay, so we're going to Fantasyland. And then we're gonna wing it. I think Pinocchio. I think we've got to try Pinocchio or Snow White. Some uh, little dark rides inside. So we'll see you when we get there. So sunset in Disneyland Paris. Oh, I love this hotel. It's so amazing. Love to stay here one day, but I don't think we'll ever be able to afford to. Starting to quieten off. A lot of people leaving now, so the queue should drop off. Hopefully, get quite a few rides in. Don't know what time we're gonna be leaving tonight. Beautiful sunset in Disneyland. Well, not even sunset really, it's still high in the sky. It's uh, just coming around to Main Street, and then we're going to go into Fantasyland. This place looks so nice in the sunshine, you know, the colours absolutely pop. And that castle at the end is just amazing, I love it. Never get old walking down here. In fact, dare I say, me and Louise have already been sad enough to say we need to book another walk, we're going to stay here. It's highly addictive. It is highly addictive. Jesus. Uh -huh. She's enjoying herself. Um, Get trip over a child. We are addicted to this place, and having the annual passes makes it so easy to get here and relatively cheap. Like, I keep saying I want to go to Europa Park, and I keep saying I want to go to Efteling again, all that. I did Efteling, but Europa Park is expensive. The reason we've got an annual pass I have, so she's got to think of tickets and getting there. Meanwhile, here it's just jump on the train and then find a hotel because we got annual passes. Louise's is like 350 days, mine is 365 days, so I'm all set. Anyway, coming into Main Street, or coming to the end of Main Street, here we go through the castle towards um, Fantasyland. Right, so we uh, just found out Pinocchio's broken down, so we're going over for a five minute queue when it's a small world. Everyone's favourite boat ride in the whole world. Even the ticking is annoying on this ride. So people are throwing money in, but then I've just noticed down here, I'm gonna find it. Someone's throwing their phone in the water. Oh, I hope their wish came true. The utter hell that is this a small world. No. You can't do it. I'm gonna lose my sunglasses. I'm gonna put these away in a minute. Because if I leave that, they're gone. <laughs> squeeze into one teacup on the Mad Hatter's teacup. Bear in mind there's four of us. I like a squeeze. Everyone loves a squeeze and we're going to spin the teacup. Ten minute queue. Let's do it. We've got a half hour on their fast pass. Seven miles of it. Um, I think these teacups aren't really made for four adults. I'm loving my life. I'm just on my own this time. I've got a leg up here. That's the thing. This is a bit, a bit squeezy. Okay. Here we go. Right. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Camera is pan 
running too fast. <laughs> what do you do panorama with this? Panorama. Panorama. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, right, right, we're going now. Oh, Wait, listen. Oh, We come off of the teacups now and uh, we've proven that they do spin and you can fit four grown adults in them. Uh, me and Louise are going to go do Pirates of the Caribbean or one of the other rides while uh, Lucy and Adam go and do their fast pass for Peter Pan. So, bye Lucy and Adam. Enjoy the, enjoy the Peter Pan. Jumps in the queue for Pinocchio, which has a 10 minute queue, so we get on this one. come off of Pinocchio, another good ride. Uh, the only thing the only thing that I say about that and Snow White, which is what we're doing next, is they run too fast. Yeah, I like you can't take the seat that and they're too jerky, like if they slowed it down a bit, we're not going on Snow White broke down. But yeah anyway they've um they they, they can run too fast those rides. Far too fast. So you can't take anything in. What do you want to do? Just, uh, well, let's have a look at some queue times and work out what we're going to do. Right, so we are heading over to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril now. Uh, it has a zero minute queue for many reasons, I'm sure. Uh, but me and Adam are going to ride it, Louise and Lucy are going to give it a miss. Uh, you know, it's a good roller coaster, good intermin roller coaster. A um, little bit rough. It could use a retract, to be honest. It's alright. It's alright. It is rough, but it's alright. Yeah, who was last one? I hated it. Louise hated it. Uh, so that's in Adventureland. Hopefully they've got the torches on because I love the torches on the ride area. If they're on, we'll show you. Alright, so here we are, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. The torches don't appear to be on yet. That sucks. I love it when the torches are on. So good in the dark. A little bit rough, but a good ride nonetheless. I like the theming on it. It looks pretty. So guys, I'm going to leave the camera with Louise because I can't take this on here and I don't have the GoPro with me today. So, um, we'll see you when we get off the ride and uh, hopefully Louise will take some shots. Just come off of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. Um, got a front row seat on it, five minute queue. I do like the theming on it, it's just really rough. Um, is the, the front rows are right because you can kind of see what's coming, you can brace yourself for it. But the corners, you just it, it's too rough in the corners, they need to retrack it a bit and uh, give it some new harnesses. It's an Intamin ride, so probably give it the new Intamin harnesses or lap bars. I know they kind of leave it like that because it's Indiana Jones, it's a bit rickety, it sounds rickety, it's a really good theme. It's just a shame about how rough it is. We're going over to um, Star like Tours now before our fast track I on don't like Buzz. Tours. You liked it the other day. It's but boring, all these boring boy rides. Boring boy rides. <laughs> well, Pinocchio wasn't a boy's ride. Yeah, it was. It was a real boy. A boy. He's a real boy. So we're just going to head over to um, Tomorrowland now and uh, go on Buzz Lightyear and maybe Star Tours if we got time. I do like these Indiana Jones t-shirts. Um, they're $22.99. It's probably not the best one, it's all creased. There's a better one. Cool t shirt, but quite expensive. Probably cost about 18 or 19 euros with discount, so. Cool 
but I'm not getting one this time. Right, so there's uh, quite a collection of people. Yep. Fun fact, Louise, when they built this park, they built it facing south to north. So the so the sun rises up behind you as you come into the park to get your nice pictures. And uh, as you're going home, the sun's behind you again as you leave, so you don't get the sun behind the castle unless it's like now. Um, there is uh, fireworks here in an hour and a half, and I'm actually surprised at how many people are starting to collect here, to be honest. Like, I'm all up for waiting. I've got an infinity pass, so I can get access to the uh, special area, but I can't take another person, so it pretty sucks. Um, we're going to miss the fireworks today. And uh, we're going to do Buzz Lightyear, maybe Star Tours if it hasn't got a queue, and then we're going to call it. Uh, call, it. call it. And uh, we'll be going into the studios or something tomorrow to do uh, early ride time. And uh, Crash's Coaster on the Rock and Roller Coaster? I did enjoy that, yeah. That was a good ride earlier. I do love uh, Discovery Land in the dark. I love all the lands in the dark. I said it about Ventura and I said it about here too. Glows up very nicely, especially Space Mountain. Absolutely gorgeous. So here we are. Buzz Lightyear's laser blast. Needs a bit of a clean the facade on this. Fast tracks are in five minutes. I wonder if they let us in early. So there we go. The fast track flying closes in 20 minutes. So we've come five minutes early. And he's fine with it. So that's good. Because then we can maybe get another ride done after this. But there's still a queue for this ride. Busy, but a very good ride, so let's get in here and blast some alien uh, scum. See, when we get off this ride, won't be filming this one because I'm too competitive. See, when we get off Buzz Lightyear. So we come off of uh, Buzz Lightyear now, Louise has found a toy she wants. How much is, does he smell of strawberries? No. 79, so about 60, uh, 60 euros with a discount. Let's get him. No, I'm alright. I got my giant stitch. So now the sun's really starting to go down and the lights are coming on. Right, so we're going on Hyperspace Mountain now, 20 minute queue. Um, yeah. Be interested to see how long it is. This one's a good laugh, this one. Hyperspace Mountain is alright. I do prefer the, um, the obviously, the original layout of this, which was Journey to the Moon. I went on it when I was a kid. Uh, Mission 2 was the one I mainly went on. Uh, and this layover was meant to be removed last year, or maybe even this year. Um, but it'd be nice when they get rid of it. I'm not a fan of the Hyperspace Mountain layover. I do like the new Vacoma trains they've got on this though. Um, they're nothing to do with, hyper, uh, with Hyperspace Mountain or Star Wars. So it's just showing that they will get rid of this layover. Hopefully restore the cannon because none of it works. The chamber doesn't work. The recoil doesn't work. Um, so yeah. Let's jump on Hyperspace Mountain and uh, go to the galaxy far, far away. Right, so that is it for today. We have just come off of Hyperspace Mountain. Good ride on it. It's nicer when it's cooler, this one. Yeah. Um, good ride. I can't wait for them to get rid of the Star Wars overlay on it. Gonna leave the vlog here, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have, and there'll be more content coming soon. Yeah, if you haven't. Sorry, if you have. Make another <laughs> account there. subscribe again. <laughs> we'll see you later in the next video, guys. Ciao for now.